Sir, but do you love me? Tevye needed to hear her say that she loves him. And he himself also needed to express his feelings of love for her. Perhaps it was the first time he was expressing those feelings of love for her, for her, for his wife. Recall also how Jesus Christ, after his resurrection, asks Peter the same pivotal question. He says, Simon Peter, son of John, do you love me? Jesus Christ asks Peter the same question three times in succession. Do you love me? Peter gets annoyed with the question. He gets disturbed. He tells Jesus, well, you know everything about me. And you know that you, I love you. And he gently directs Peter to feed and to tend the sheep. But three times he asks him. Jesus pressed Peter to express his feelings of love for the resurrected Lord Jesus Christ because those that love had to be the core belief behind all that Peter would go on to do in Jesus' name. And Jesus drew that out of Peter. <coughs> Today's Gospel, the parable of the sword, it also reminds the married couple celebrating the wedding anniversary that you began your married life in a special covenant bound by God Himself. God was generous in His outpouring His blessings, just like you heard in that gospel today. That farmer just goes and scatters his seed everywhere. On the worst ground, on the best ground, on the in-between ground. He's generous in scattering the seeds. And God has been generous in His love for you throughout your married life together, sometimes even unknown to you when He was touching you in your life. And you became that fertile soil which received and nurtured His presence, His bestowal of grace upon you. God Himself expressed His love for you in the mystery of matrimony as you professed your love and you lived your love for one another in His name. Your generous response of warning to be part of this celebration today, it's an expression of your love for Almighty God, of your thanksgiving to God Himself. Your participation in divine liturgy of thanksgiving and in all the divine liturgies throughout your life, the many prayers you have offered, celebrates that love, gives expression to it. And an anniversary, as is all of our prayer life, is an excellent opportunity to express our love for God. It's an opportunity to express our love for one another and to those who share our journey of life. An anniversary celebrates your steadfast love for one another, just as God is steadfast in His love for you and for me. Your lifelong steadfast love for one another gives testimony to a world around us which thirsts for that example of faithfulness and holy matrimony. And we thank you for